So we just got a user request of a really cool use case, and I thought it'd be a fun demo video to share with everyone. So here's the situation. Our user has a set of tasks in Notion in a database, and those tasks have a title, they have a done state, like whether they're completed or not, and they have a date that they were completed. And what he wants to do is he wants to send out an email every day with all the tasks that were completed that day. And I wanna show you a really cool feature we built that makes this possible. So first, we're gonna create a trigger, which is on a recurring schedule. We wanna do this every day at, you know, in the evening, let's say at 6 p.m. Pacific time, and we're gonna repeat this every day. And the first thing we wanna do is add a find step in Notion. So we can look in our database and find all the tasks that were completed on this particular day. Here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna add a filter for the date completed property, and we're gonna make sure it's the same date as this workflow run. Now, what that's gonna do is it's gonna find all the pages that meet those criteria in the database. If we don't find any pages, we can continue because maybe some tasks don't get, maybe there's a day with no task completed. And if more than one task was completed, we wanna combine them all into a list. Now, now that we have that list, we wanna send a single email with all of the items enumerated, which is actually pretty tricky to do in automation tools. So we built a new feature called Unrolling, which lets you unroll and expand out the content of your list directly in an email. Let me show you how it works. So first, I'm gonna create a send email automation in Gmail. For this test, I'm just gonna send it to myself, but you could send it to you know whatever, whatever alias you prefer. Oh, let me get that right. And I'm gonna say the subject is tasks completed today. And I'm going to just introduce the email saying, here are the tasks that were completed today. And now let me show you this unroll feature. So when I go into my data view, I can see that I have the option to use this whole list of pages in a few ways. I can make a bulleted list, I can make a numbered list, or I can make more creative text blocks. In this case, I'm going to make a numbered list. And then what the way this unroll function works is in the unroll, you can decide how you want to format each individual element in this list. So in this case, all I want to do is include the title of the task. Super simple. Uh, then I can say way to go team. And what that's going to do is it's going to iterate over each of those tasks that were completed today and include them unrolled in the email. Let me do a test run to show you what it looks like. So I'll create a test run with uh, the database I have. You see, I have two tasks that are completed today. July 22nd, task one and task three. Let me show you how it's gonna work. So it's gonna find the pages, it's gonna send the email, and then you can see in the content of the email, it created a nice bulleted list with both of the tasks that were completed. Really cool feature, uh, check it out.